Howdy, this is Corey Jensen, Wind Power Sports in Las Vegas, and I'm sitting on a Peter Lynn race buggy. Kite buggying is one of the things that we do with power kites these days, turning it into motive power. This buggy has been specially modified for running out here in the desert. It has longer side rails and a wider rear axle than a standard buggy would have. Makes it a little more of a problem to carry it around. You got to do some disassembly. But out on the dry lakes, where we're going to be going in a further segment, it makes it a little more stable, a little more comfy ride. A couple of features about this buggy that are worth noting. Originally, the down tube and the fork were at 90 degrees to each other, but the guy that built this buggy, not Veltus, and did some experimenting. We've got a little bit of a rake here in the front fork, and that really helped a lot. They also did a modified front fork, which I have removed because it made things a little too squirrely, and this is the standard front fork. Then, as well as the extended down tubes, this buggy also has a suspension axle. Unlike uh, desert dune buggies where you're doing a lot of suspension travel going over jumps, in our game it's all about traction. You've got to keep your wheels on the ground if you want the kite to provide you with power. The suspension, rather than up-down, is back and forth so it keeps, as, because the kite is always going to be downwind, the buggy is going to roll a couple of degrees downwind with that power. Suspension allows the upwind wheel to stay firm on the ground with a lot of grip. That gives me a little bit better upwind angle. A little bit of ride comfort, but that's mostly done through tire pressure. This buggy also has custom wheels on it that allow the tire to sit fatter on the ground. Again, the game that we play has a lot to do with traction. So the more surface contact I have, the better grip I've got on the surface and the better I'm able to go. With the proper kite in winds between about 10 and 30 miles an hour, generally speaking, properly rigged, you can achieve ground speeds about three to four times wind speed and you go upwind. That's pretty cool.